Hello, Aquarius. Ow, ow, Aquarius. How are you doing, Aquarius? What is going on? These cards look amazing and beautiful. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for the money, baby, the big ching ching, baby. So, with that, if you're new to my channel, where have you been? I really like you. You should be around more often. You should come join me on Instagram on Tuesdays. Between the hours of 5.30 and 6.30, I jump on there sometime around there, depending on what time I get home from work, because it's happy hour time. And during happy hour, we do half price readings, 22-22, 11-11. Get your question in and let's hang out, all right? And for all my returning family members, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love high fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs yo because you need it okay you need it immediately the number 444 is showing up if that's something you have been seeing then baby this read is definitely for you all right now first card off the deck the higher power you knew you knew something was coming you knew there was a change a change is coming and you trusted it you trusted it you had a vision you were like you know what i'm gonna go with this i don't know where it's taking me but i'm gonna i'm gonna explore it okay and really paying attention to your third eye your anja and your solar plexus okay trusting that gut feeling you knew you was getting some good some good was coming high five to that they picked you okay you could have been chosen for an internship an externship, a partnership, something beautiful is coming through, okay? Give me one more for this situation. We have overspending, okay? So you may have to go out and buy new clothes because you just got promoted in a new position or got a new job. Now, with that being said, your next card is that of points. This is like being at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing and catching the eye of the right person. This is my I love what you do for me, Toyota. Okay, so I feel like you're just like living it up. You're being recognized and noticed, chosen. You see the star above her? You're like a freaking star quality. I love it. There was a lot of competition in the situation, but you just shine brighter, baby, okay? You was just better. And those debts are getting paid, okay? So there's some beautiful energy coming in with that. Now, your next card is that of going the distance, okay? You're going for speed. He's all alone, all alone in a time of need. You went through it. I mean, it's been hard, but you made it to the finish line. Whatever it was that you had to get through, you got there and it's good, okay? You got some huge decisions to make. Some of y'all could be moving to the desert. Some of y'all could be moving away, but you got the position and it's good. And there's a lot about credit repair or repairing your credibility, okay? You are standing out, you're shining, you're breaking through, and you're doing these wonderful things. Congratulations. Pay attention to these days so far, the 4th, the 11th, and the 12th. All right. Now, your self-care card is out of dance. You know who got this card? Leo got this card. When we going to go dance in Aquarius? Are we going dancing? Like, what's going on? Because, or are we dancers? Okay, because if you are, I want to come see you. No, I'm just like, step into the light. Share your gifts and talents with the world. You are extremely talented, okay, Aquarius? You think outside of the box. Let it shine, okay? Now, the butterfly cards. Y'all know I'm, I struggle with these butterfly cards. However, your spiritual growth, like, I feel like maybe you are manifesting, creating. It's coming through. So welcome to the new era. Welcome to the new life. Welcome to all these blessings coming in for you they pick you they want you your debts are getting paid you're repairing your credit and your credibility these are oh these are beautiful things coming through for you all right okay let's get into your reading what do we got going on this is going to be a quick read on money in general money in general first card out the block three of swords we will see it we were sad we was feeling some type of way okay Oh, but you had faith still. You see the heart there? You had faith. And that hawk was like, Ka -ka! <laughs> wake up, Aquarius. We're not going to be sad. We got some decisions to make. We got to make a choice. We got to have a breakthrough moment, okay? And then you're becoming very creative with the Empress. You're flowing with milk and honey. You are blessed. You are coming through this. You are creative, okay? You didn't tell a lot of people what you were going through either, okay? Some of y'all have like a business or a position that came up out of nowhere. You applied for it and didn't tell nobody like, I'm about to, about to jump up and be your boss, baby. <laughs> 
and it's a yes. There's also a big trip coming in for you at the end of the month, possibly to a very hot place, okay, because of the desert and the other card, and then with the sun showing up here, there's definitely a trip, and somebody got work going on, somebody got a job, somebody's doing well, the number 333 is also sticking out for you, so there is something with 333 when it comes to your money, if you're doing an investment or something, I would pay attention. All right, let's clarify. Let, oh, let's clarify. There's something about Virgo energy. Some of y'all could have a lot of Virgo energy in your chart or your mother is a Virgo or something of that nature because it's right by the Empress. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. Let's cut the deck. Think, 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 okay? No impulsive decisions right here. You are the page of pentacles. So we're developing something. We're also maybe starting at an entry level position. This is something new. So proceed with caution, okay? Proceed with caution when it comes to the money. Aquarius works hard for the money. Ew, so hard for the money. Yeah, I'm old. I listen to old music, okay? Lucky number two coming through for you, okay? Yes, the cards are ready. Look, two, high priestess, number two. Okay, there is something about you trusting your intuition. Some of y'all knew y'all had to leave a situation. It just wasn't good for you, whether it was financial or work-related. All right, you did it very impulsively with the Knight of Wands. You're like, F it, I'm out. <laughs> I think there's something better for me financially. You made this huge decision with the Judgment card, and it was the right decision. Mm, it's the lovers. Okay, it was a little scary, though, with the Ten of Swords. Some of y'all had to make a really tough decision about trusting maybe a financial investment, a work decision, or um, stocks. I don't know, something like that, okay? Um, then we have this beautiful empress here. She's got her bosom full of sunflowers. I feel like summertime is going to be really, really beneficial for you and like growth is coming through. Get out of your head. Don't be mentally stuck. We're not going to be there anymore. Okay. Then you pulled yourself. Queen of Swords. Ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka, coming through. Cutting everything off. You ready? Okay. And then it's the tower. Bum, bum, bum. With the Hierophant. So for me, this is like a breakthrough. Like, we're breaking through the situation. The tower is coming like an arrow. Okay, it's got a little bit of crack. But there's a breakthrough that's coming through for you. Possibly going to be talking to HR. Possibly going to go get a loan. Uh, some kind of investment is coming through. Something is coming through. Let's get the Lenormand. What do we need to know? There's a trip. Movement. That's very lucky, okay? A very lucky situation and beautiful. Hew, hew, okay? And you pulled the Aquarius card. And I kind of feel like it's like you're going to become more social. Your social life is picking up. You're going to go on this trip. It changes your luck. Things are just really like blowing up for you right now financially. It's a very beautiful energy coming in for you. And then let's look at the alien here, which is the hermit, okay? Very hermit energy with Virgo. He's got the candle in front of the book. He's doing manifestations, okay? He's like, look, I need some money to come in because I want to take this trip, okay? I want to take this trip. And you're, okay, I also want to say this. For some of y'all who are relying on families to assist you in a situation, I don't think they're going to assist you, all right? Because they're afraid that this is a bad investment, now, and there's that Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all who are dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo female, or, or Emperor and Empress, this could even be financially in a relationship, someone is not feeling this decision that you're making, okay? But you're going to go for it financially. You're going to go for it, and I feel like it's going to work. The sun is here. And that is what? Hey, yes! <laughs> yes! Let's see here. We have the Nine of Wands reversed. You're not even arguing about it. You're like, you know what? That's okay. And there's possibly talks of a move. Somebody's moving, okay? And here you are as the Page of Pentacles. You're like, you know what? I'm going to start myself. I'm going to do it myself. And then here's the Page of Swords. So when we have two pages come out in a reading, this is about information coming through at the end of the month that gives you the confidence to make that decision, okay? And we end with the Ace of Pentacles over the Three of Pentacles. You get the job. You get the job. You get the job. You get the job. You are now one of my first elite employees, okay? Somebody is coming through with that. It's going to be very happy. It's going to be a joyful time. Things are moving in the right direction. But let's clarify real quick 
on what is this information coming through? What could this information pertain to? Let's go to the Oracle. What could this information be about? What is this about? It's a victory. Pay attention to the 28th, okay? Pay attention to that. There's something beautiful coming through as a major victory because you took action on something, possibly on the 17th. Okay, one more, one more. You got the job. You got it. You got it. Okay, you're getting the raise. You're getting the job. Things are moving in your... Um, I want to say alignment, like things are just moving in your alignment. They're working in your favor. And it's because you were creative with your second chakra. That is your, um, not your solar plexus. That is your, I just went blank. It's your second chakra, okay? You're very blessed there. Your creativity is coming in. Your Shavashtana, okay? So it's coming through. It's a beautiful energy. Yellow is going to be that color for you. Make sure that you wear a lot of yellow this month because you are just golden. You are just golden, baby. Everything you touch turns to gold. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, okay? So money is looking really good for you. Work, work. You got the job, whoever, you know, whatever you're doing, it's working out. You're standing above the rest. You're being recognized and noticed. And financially, whatever that investment is, it's going to work in your favor. Okay? So, let's go to a little bit of energy work. What is some energy work they can use for their, fi for their finances? Not finances. Finances. Okay. The waxing moon. It says, breathe energy into what you love. Look, when it comes to your finances, you need to do some manifestations. You need to believe that you're abundant, okay? When you're manifesting, you can't come from a place of lack. You come from like you already got it, all right? Balance your chakras this month. And then the cow comes out. And this makes me think of the empress energy. It says, nourish yourself with natural abundance from the earth. Believe that you're already abundant. Whenever the cow shows up, that is like money, okay? It's a cash cow. Get very grounded. I also feel like there's an earth sign out there who, um, who's going to really support your uh, endeavors as you go through this month. Now, let's jump into work and career, okay? Where'd the cords go? Oh, I had them charging. I put the little crystals on them to clear them. Okay, bless these cards. Show us the energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is their what is their career energy this month? We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, look at that. That's some magic happening. God, that's a beautiful card. And it says swiftness. Something's coming in quick. There's a lot of communication. People are talking about Aquarius. Aquarius is great. They good. They beautiful. They are amazing. I like them. I want them. Okay. And this is that um, Venus and Sagittarius. Venus and Sagittarius energy. Okay. And so it's just like really quick energy, really fast, dripping with honey, baby. I love it. And here's the Queen of Cups. Because you're just succulent, okay? Everybody wants to drip some honey on you. You're golden. They love your personality. They think you're super kind, okay? Super, super kind. To the Princess of Wands, okay? So I do feel like you have, like, a lot of great ideas coming in for you at work, okay? And then we have the Queen of Swords coming in. Double queens in your read. This is you trusting your passions and speaking about them, okay? But you got to have a little bit more faith in your actions. Now, there's also two queens here, so people are really talking about you in the office, okay, or at work. They really like you. And then we have the Eight of Cups. This is Saturn and Jupiter, okay? We want to, it says renounce. We want to move away from something. We want to go. We want to do something different. Some of us are making some really tough decisions, and here's the tower. Hey, okay? So some of y'all got hired on a new job, and you're leaving this old job because welcome to the new baby, all right? We got to go, all right? Gotta go, gotta go. But this energy is really helping you stand in your power. Your throat chakra is really awakened. So... What is the Eight of Wands here? What is going on with the Eight of Wands? We have, uh, I feel like nobody cared about me. I feel very unappreciated, okay? And I need time. I'm progressing. I'm moving out of the situation. The clock is ticking, and right here, I have unexpected outcome. Bum, bum, bum. Things didn't go the way they planned, okay? And you were already in cahoots or talking to someone else over here to get this better position, okay? Let's see. We'll be using the Babylonian Tarot because I love the stories behind these cards. These are the cards that I first learned how to read with, and um, I love them. So look.
Ten of swords reversed, okay, or ten of arrows. This is ruin. Someone tried to ruin you. There was a lot of red flags, but you trusted with spirit. You combined your energy with someone or with um, up above, okay? And they didn't know who they were messing with, okay, Aquarius? They did not know. They were like, what? What are you talking about? Aquarius? What are you talking about? People like you? Like, what? I can't believe it. So, we got that number two again. All right, let's see here. We have Sagittarius energy again with the tree. So, there's something about the temperance energy, okay? It comes down to number 14. The 14th could be important because it has that four in it. Now, the tree of life is about being balanced and, like, understanding that you have to be rooted. You're grounded and rooted, okay? And there's the lovers. Aquarius, you know, you get the lovers twice in your read for money. You're making really good decisions. And I also think your love life is really great right now. So you should go check out the love reading. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just trying. I'm a, I'm a penny, okay? Anyways, here's your emperor coming in. There's the boss. There's, there's the emperor taking control of the situation where we were kind of felt like we were given the short end of the stick, okay? So let's clarify this queen of cups as she's standing here. And she's right by the dance card. So I feel like your emotions could be a little bit all over the place. These cards don't want to shuffle. Okay, I guess that's it. You're going to face them. I feel like you're going towards this emperor. Like, you know what? Let me talk to you. Okay, I got a bone to pick with you. I'm not happy here. Four of Cups. And which is really interesting because this card, this is where the emperor, this guy right here. So this emperor... Um, he was getting a little bit, you know, run down. He didn't look as good as he used to. And the Prince of Swords comes and tells him, hey, why don't you go and, like, clean yourself up and clean, clean off your crown, okay? And he does. But while he's away, like, they go crazy in his town and they start killing everybody and everything goes down and the gods have to step in. I feel like there is a situation where, like, every time you walk away from a work situation, things fall apart. Because they need you. Oh well, you gotta go, right? You've made, your, you've made your decisions and your choices. The Princess of Wands says the Princess of Wands. Birth that new dream, okay? We are giving birth to a new possibility. The double princesses, I do feel like there's something with action, okay? Because there's both wands, right? Two different decks, so it's two different actions that need to happen because there's two forms of information that are going to be coming in mid-month, all right? But we're not going to tell nobody with the hermit. There's something about that Virgo, right? And then there's the King of Pentacles. So, we don't know what to do. What do I do? You call Ari, okay? You call me so we can work this out. There's something going on. You're brewing. Something is brewing. There's an energy in there. Um, but what is this about? What are the two princesses about? You are headed in the right direction. So, because we're all in different levels right now, we're doing different things. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing the right thing, okay? Okay. Some of y'all are going to start working a little bit more overtime so you can finish this project. And some of y'all are going to go apply for that job and get that background check, okay? You've been approved, okay? You're going to be their elite employee. I feel like you're someone who's nervous about their background check. Like, it's going to come out totally, totally good, okay? So the Queen of Swords is showing up. This could be your energy with you. You're bringing in some, some tough communication because you're renouncing something, okay? And, you know, Saturn... This Jupiter and Saturn, Jupiter is like our dreams, our passions, our joys, right? Like our spiritual stuff. In Saturn, it tells us to get real with it, okay? Here's your spirit guide with some action, Jackson, okay? They said, look, you can't make a decision. I'm going to help you. Stop neglecting what I'm telling you. You're a damn dirty king. Like, why are you letting them treat you like you're you're not as important as what you are? Like, we need to stand up for ourselves. We got to come through. So let's see what the spirit guide wants you to know. What deck do I want to go to? Let's go to this oracle. So the magician in the mirror and envy. Somebody is watching you and they're very envious of you. They're very jealous of something that you're doing. And there's something about August 20th, okay? They're very jealous about it and they're trying to stifle the situation. They're trying to cause an issue, okay? And then I have a thinking man right here. They're like, how can I get Aquarius? Um, I just like to throw a little, like, you know, shenanigans in there just for good times. Anyways, let's look at the Eight of Cups. So someone is a little jealous of you. Shocking. I mean, you're an Aquarius. Who wouldn't be jealous of you, right? 
because work you're leaving this work you're getting something new spirit guy come through talking about hey 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 all right we're not gonna be defeated this time we got this okay and i don't think you're gonna tell him it's almost like you might call in sick and just never come back <laughs> sorry i laughed a little loud on that um let's see what this spirit guide has for you because work is blessed and you're not going to be defeated like you're not they're not going to run you out of there okay because you know your words you're going to go get you're going to get a higher paying job because you saw other possibilities the 24th could be important Ooh, i'm getting hungry and it's something that you love to do it's something that you're going to love to look i can't you're going to love it you're going to love this new position you're going to love this new job but we have to deal with this situation the tower okay we gotta understand that with the tower something's gotta go something's gotta go because something new is coming in its place right but overall you're a little bit nervous it's always scary to do new things Aquarius okay you don't want to miss an opportunity you don't want to miss this you want to be there you're overwhelmed where you're at work right now and there was a lot of backstabbing going on there was a lot of treachery but you know what you changed your habits you're moving forward and you got this okay so let's see what the babylonian tarot says about the tower what do you have for us we have the new opportunity do not miss this new opportunity because you're afraid to go and do something new Ten of Pentacles, they're going to pay a lot more, okay? Make that decision and don't let your fears hold you back, okay? This is Lamatsu. I want you to look at what Lamatsu got going on. Lamatsu is riding on a canoe through, through the hills, okay? On a donkey's back while they're nuzzling at her nipples and she's holding snakes for wisdom. Don't let things hold you back. Don't let it hold you back because you didn't think you could make it. And now I have the Ten of Cups here. So this is telling me there is an opportunity. This is a great time. Two tens right here telling you, make it, fill out that application. Do what you got to do, Aquarius, and get the hell out of that, okay? Because they're sucking your energy dry. And we don't like that, okay? They wasn't ready. They, weren't, they didn't expect this. They didn't expect it, Aquarius. I'm going to lunch. <laughs> that's some stuff I would do no I love my job so I wouldn't do it so we have something new coming in really really new two new opportunities wow um, this is the Aquarius card but there's a new opportunity through a friend or a new friend and something is ending we're gonna get more information makes you a little nervous what else what else and confused give me more but it's gonna be beautiful and then we have a key opportunity coming in. So I feel like there's a new opportunity. Um, and because of this new opportunity, you're a little nervous about ending something or leaving. But you're, you're, there's some confusion around this nervousness. Like, are you nervous because it's really good for you or nervous because it's going to ruin you? But the outcome is the bouquet. So it is really, really beautiful. And this is your key opportunity. And the number on the key was 33. And I said it, 333 was very important. So pay attention to that. If you're seeing 333 when you're trying to get this job, that is confirmation in your spirit to go for it. Okay? Especially. Especially you. All right. Let's end this read. Soul star. Integrate your higher self. Okay? That's that prayer, that meditation, and trusting the universe. Lakshmi, money is about to get good, baby. Money, 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 money. You are the alchemist. You create your abundance. All right? And we have eclipse energy. So acknowledge the new illusions and see the truth. So the person that is trying to like kind of backstab you, they're 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 masquerading as a friend. And they're not. They're not a friend, okay? Balance your chakras, all right? I do Reiki too. You can call me for that. <laughs> Come hang out with me, all right? All right. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Whoever that sneaky snake is, you got this. Congratulations on your new job. Congratulations on that investment. And don't be afraid of trying new things. Take care.